street art and murals in the marketplace make art available to anyone. Nobody actually owns this piece behind me. The city owns it. Anyone, any family, anybody coming up to take pictures owns this piece of art. And that's why I just involved myself in the blood, sweat, and tears process of making large mural art for cities. My name is Brian Peterson. I have two organizations, one Brian Peterson Art, and the second one Faces of Santa Ana. Brian Peterson Art, my focus is murals and beautifying cities and streets and faces of Santa Ana. I paint portraits of my local neighbors experiencing homelessness. We sell the artwork and use the money to help them out. So in my life, I got saved. I gave my life to the Lord. And the very first thing he did in my life was pull creativity out of me. So I began this journey with Jesus, a naive young believer, really trying to figure out what it means to be creative and partner with Jesus. So the process for these murals first starts with relationship from God. I feel like you just have to hear his voice, you have to hear his instruction in order to make great art that impacts people. The process then goes to the computer where I digitally design everything you see behind me. I use Adobe Photoshop and I take photographs and create almost like iconographic or, or simplified versions of these photos that I, that I find dear to me. Then we come out here at night, we project the artwork, and then we trace it with a spray can. And from then, it's just fill in the blank or almost like a large coloring book. And so the wall behind me took about two and a half days to complete, me and one other artist. And the other side, the large wall, we're due to paint it in about four and a half days. So total about seven to eight days for the whole entire project. As you can imagine, with every single mural, there's tons of adversity, <laughs> tons of things go wrong. Paint is late, lifts are late. I cut my finger on every mural I've ever done. <laughs> And so murals are just all about sort of pivoting, understanding that things will go wrong, and how do you problem solve in light of all those things. I feel like my role here on planet Earth is to touch the hearts of people and hopefully in turn introduce them to the kindness of God.